My name is Maxi Jazz and I make no apology For linking my thinking with computer technology So, uh, hello, I am Scott Meech and welcome to my ePortfolio, a culmination of my work and graduating project for my Masters of Educational Technology at the University of British Columbia. Uh, I hope the scholarly overview uh, video with a quote from my favorite musical group, Faithless, uh, which they say, I make no apology for linking my thinking with uh, computer technology uh, for a few reasons. Uh, first, I find that it really matches well with a program designed to teach educators about how to integrate technology into our practice. Uh, second, I think that it adds a little personality to this otherwise uh, overly academic website, uh, something that I feel teachers need to do in their practice to help better make connections with their students. And finally, because as a language educator, I find that music videos on YouTube, uh, which also contain lyrics to songs, are an extremely invaluable resource uh, for language learning. So uh, here we are. Uh, I call this the MET brain or the homepage to my portfolio. Uh, this is the main way to navigate uh, through this page. And uh, if you look down, I have a Thing Link. Um, uh, Thing Link is a great program to present material in a nonlinear fashion. Uh, part of the reason I chose it as a navigation uh, format uh, for my metaphor of the brain. Uh, to present materials that I have completed during my study period at DMET. Now, as you hover over uh, the buttons, you can read a little bit more about different things that are on this website. Okay, we got uh, my purpose, uh, my guided tour. Uh, here we have uh, my metaphor. Over here we have the audience who are supposed to be looking at it. Uh, and then, of course, in the middle are the three main, the neocortex. Oh, the limbic system and the brain stem. All right, if you want, you can click on them from here. Uh, I've also provided one, two, three links at the bottom uh, to do linear uh, search because for some people on a slower computer, uh, the link can be quite laggy. Uh, anyways, let's move on to the neocortex or the theory. And uh, yeah, there we go. Boom. The neocortex, uh, the supposed reasoning center of the brain. Uh, and again, if we scroll down, we can find yet another cute quote from that faithless song that you heard at the start. Uh, and I think it matches well here. Um, and it also matches another philosophy I hold about education and that evidence-based study should drive how we approach teaching. All right, so here I have presented uh, three artifacts uh, during, uh, that I created during my MET, which fall into the uh, theoretical or higher order thinking category. Uh, as we scroll down, we can see now my journal assignment, which has been uh, presented on Scribe. Uh, if you want, you can just scroll through and you can see each page and read the entire article. All uh, right, below is my reflection. And uh, uh, this is a, a, a this is, this is a project I created for ETC uh, uh, 500, uh, Research uh, Methodology in Education. Uh, and if you want to learn more about any of the courses that I did take, you can click on these uh, links right here, and uh, it'll take you to the MET website, and uh, you can learn more about each of the different um, uh, courses. Anyways, now we scroll down. Uh, we'll see. Oh, my next one here is the Cognitive neuro web, Neuroscience website. You can click on this and it'll take you there. Uh, you can also watch uh, three videos that I created um, about um, how cognitive neuroscience is affecting education. Uh, and then, of course, next here is my uh, reflection about what I learned from this uh, project. And finally, uh, on this page is the choice method. Um, the choice method is uh, still a work in progress. Uh, it's my own personal theory on education and uh, how to design curriculums. Uh, and it draws on ideas such as personalized learning paths, uh, learning style preferences, uh, among other things. Um, uh, I think you should take a look through it. Uh, it's quite an interesting read, in my opinion. Uh, and 
here, of course, is another reflection that tells you uh, what I feel I learned, where I learned things from. And uh, yeah, there you go. But uh, let's take a look on to the limbic system and we'll click on here. There we go. All right, open, open, open. There we go, the limbic system. Oh, I apologize. I could not find a suitable quote from a faithless song to open this page. So instead, here is an academic one um, uh, from the New London Group, which basically states that in order to learn, uh, students must be motivated. And uh, that comes from doing things that we or uh, can make meaning from, relate to, uh, or are interested in. Uh, and of course, uh, that is the main function of the limbic system, right, which is involved in emotion, motivation, and the formation of memories. Uh, so uh, the artifacts on this page will be the fun part of learning. Um, Take a look here. Uh, this is uh, a project that I created, uh, was uh, adding to the course wiki uh, on the topic of edutainment. Uh, I also made a stop motion video. Uh, you can see uh, Bender from Futurama and C-3PO uh, from Star Wars uh, as they try to learn Spanish in different methods and uh, which one comes as the better way. Um, now we scroll down a little bit. And we find my vignette uh, here. Uh, I analyze this for ETC 532, uh, and it discusses the need uh, for instructor presence in online discussion forums. Uh, and as we scroll down some more, we find my virtual ethnography. Uh, I created this one uh, uh, for uh, the uh, ETC 565G course. Um, uh, this is actually uh, where I delved into ideas about intrinsic motivation and where it comes from. Uh, and uh, I had never really played video games since I was in high school. Uh, and uh, amazingly, I became so intrinsically motivated to play this game that it has been my go-to procrastination device uh, during the production of this entire ePortfolio e e website. And quite sad. I'm, I'm sad to say that I have progressed very far in the game over the past few months. Um, take a read of my reflection and uh, then look at the video. I think you'll enjoy it a lot. But let's scroll down and find the last page that we're going to look at for this video. The brainstem uh, or the tools of the trade. All right. Oh, look at that. We found another faithless quote you don't need eyes to see you need vision uh, i think it's rather clear uh, how this quote relates to the brainstem metaphor uh, the brainstem is of course how the brain connects to the body or what allows you to use the tools that you have like your hands or your eyes of course the eyes cannot do anything on their own uh, they require the brain to actually come up with the idea of vision uh, so the artifacts on this page uh, are going to be the tools of the trade, which I have been exposed to and uh, learned how to use over the past few years. Uh, the first project uh, you can take a look at here is the Collaborative Inquiry Project, uh, which is a language learning website. Uh, and it's the first time I actually enjoyed a collaborative project during my MET tenure. Um, uh, uh, this will provide evidence for why teachers should attempt to include authentic materials, uh, introduce the concept of space learning and pairing it with micro lessons, and uh, connections to many different online resources for teachers or students uh, to exploit in a language learning setting. Uh, next, we have my uh, RIP Mix Feed uh, project from the ETC uh, 540. Uh, here is a video of Benny Lewis talking about the best ways to become fluent in a language. Uh, an example of how to use Edpuzzle. All right, Edpuzzle over here, uh, which is a wonderful tool for any educator uh, looking for an easy way to assess students' understanding of a video presentation. Uh, take a look at it. Uh, it's pretty cool. I, I think you'll like it. Now, down we have my venture, pr venture pitch. Uh, and then further down, further. Uh, uh, discourse leadership, which uh, talks about how to use it in social media uh, as a uh, learning management system. Um, the final page that you'll see will be uh, references uh, right there. You can take, we can take a quick look at it, uh, but we're done now.
Bye.